welcome back everybody to another episode of Elite Landscapes Life Stories. Today's episode, we are simply going to mow this yard. We're going to discuss the best method of training your new guys on these mowing adventures. Do you want your guys to mow grass exactly like you do? Of course we do. We're making the money we make on our accounts now because we're so good at what we do. And any helper, any employee we bring out here needs to be the same level standard, which means they need to mimic, copy every single thing we do in the style we do it. I'm sure you all agree we're going to get into this. We're also going to discuss <laughs> the fact that weed eating, hmm, weed eating is extremely important. And the fact is, if you can't weed eat and pimp out your properties, you're not going to keep them. So look, I showed up on this yard. First thing I noticed was, hey, the fertilization company has come. They threw in some crazy looking stripes. <laughs> stripes. Tracks. Look at them. Look at these tracks going through. All right. That's not my old mowing stripes at all. This will be the first visit, visit number five of the season, where I am due to change up my stripe pattern. So, hey, it all worked out good. I had to fix these lines and make them disappear from the fertilization cart. And it was time to switch up and create some diamond effect in this front yard. So, when I have a new employee and he have these mowers that were on, the zero turns, I simply have them follow me. Just follow me around my first perimeter cut. That will do two things for you. They'll understand how that mower reacts and how you maneuver the mower in different situations. It will also give your perimeter cut that initial second cut, especially in the springtime when you're going to be double cutting these properties anyways. So after we make our two circles around, I usually have them make that second circle behind me and I'll start laying down that stripe pattern, the initial first three or four lines. By the time I'm done with those first three or four lines, they can then, my rookie, can come behind me and simply follow the same stripe, that white highway interstate line that we all follow every day. And they just do exactly what I just did, right behind me. We're double cutting the yard, which had to be done anyways. And you can see here, Ian is right here with me. You know, he's learning as he goes by watching how I maneuver this mower on these steep inclines, around flower beds, etc. So once your guys have followed you around for a couple weeks straight, they should be ready to go on by themselves on these properties that you have and follow your white stripe. So after this first cut on this front yard, you'll see I send Ian to the back area because it's nice and flat, easy to mow. He knows the deck height already. We lower it down the back. These are all key things that your employees need to know about your properties. Not every property is cut at the same height and not every area of grass on that property is cut the same height. So I point him back there and say, hey, go cut that. There he goes. Now, because I want my accounts always to look professional and perfect, I'm always going to come through and make that final striping cut where it matters. You really don't want your rookies, your new guys, putting this picture on your front yards or anywhere that the client really sits and relax and looks at their finished quality product they just paid you good money to accomplish hope all this stuff is making sense to you guys because training employees is not an easy process 
Number one, if you want them to stick around, you have to be kind and gentle in your approach. <laughs> and number two, they have to be as good as you eventually. You know, it may take them a while, but after their first six to eight weeks on the job, they should know exactly how you do every single step that you do and why you do it. It's called taking the time to explain why we're doing the things we're doing. Don't assume that people understand the same things that you do. I had no idea when I started these videos that I would be able to benefit veterans out here that just haven't thought of or haven't seen things the same way that I see them. Life is a non-stop learning adventure and we're all out here learning from each other. That's what this whole channel is based on, the round table community right here at Life Stories. That's what it's all about. The more we learn, the more we grow and knowledge, and the more we can make out here doing this work. The more we can benefit our own homes, if we're just homeowners, we'll know how to make stuff look beautiful. So guys, when you're weed eating, that's a whole different beast teaching people how to weed eat. I use the same method. I make them follow me around. I make them watch me, see what kind of angles I'm putting this weed eater head. When I'm out here mowing and they're weed eating, I will stop on a dime every single time I see them do something wrong. If they're going the wrong direction, like this guy. This guy's totally going the wrong direction, throwing grass all in this mulch bed. You can't do that stuff, guys. You have to stop your new guys, correct them in the same process, show them what you want, and then make sure they can do it up to par with you. Now, I lost these two accounts across the street because of, eh, what are we going to say here? The um, problem, reaction, solution that's going on in the world today about money and the inflation so right now the owner of the company that took these two properties from me is not even on site he has two rookies out here on these nice properties undercharging thirty dollars per yard and you'll see here when i pull up you'll see their quality of experience and expertise this is real-time footage here this guy's barely moving this is the first time these beds have been edged by this company since I mulched them back in early March. Real time footage? Come on man, I'll be running laps around these dudes. There's no way he's making money at $55 for that big cut with hundreds of feet of bed edges. This guy over here, still going the wrong direction, has no clue. No one ever told him any different. If you don't stop and correct your employees, they don't know they're messing up. They're just doing it to it. They think it looks good. <laughs> so look, bottom line here is, if you want your employees to be like you and make your properties look like the way that you do it, you gotta be patient, understanding, and you gotta be their coach. Every single day, every single minute, coach them through the process of being a professional. Hey. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, the information in it. I'm going to show you something real here, real quick, at the end. <laughs> Just an example. Hey, y'all be good, be kind always, and love each other. Check this out. And I'm going to say it now. Peace, Elite Landscape Style. Which this example is far from Elite Style. Check it out. Good Lord. <laughs>